How to configure GPU pass-through with VMware. Are you curious about how to configure GPU pass-through with VMware? This setup can turn your virtual machine into a powerhouse for graphics and compute tasks. Let's break down the steps you need to follow to get this working smoothly. First, you need to check your hardware and BIOS support. Make sure your central processing unit and motherboard support virtualization extensions like Intel Virtualization Technology for directed input-output or Advanced Micro Devices Input-Output Memory Management Unit. These features allow direct device assignment. Also, confirm that your graphics processing unit is compatible with pass-through mode. If these features are not enabled in your host BIOS or unified extensible firmware interface settings, go ahead and enable them. Next, prepare your VMware ESXi host. Log into the VMware ESXi host using the web client. Navigate to the section that says Host, then Manage, followed by Hardware, and finally PCI Devices. Here, you will find a list of PCI Devices. Locate the graphics processing unit you want to pass through. Select it and click on Toggle Pass-Through to enable pass-through mode for that device. You will need to reboot your host for these changes to take effect, so go ahead and do that. Once your host has rebooted, log back into the ESXi web client. Check to confirm that the pass-through status of your graphics processing unit is shown as active. This means your setup is on the right track. Now it's time to assign the graphics processing unit to a virtual machine. Edit the settings of the virtual machine you want to use. Add a new device by selecting Add Other Device and then PCI Device. Choose the graphics processing unit from the drop-down list to assign it to the virtual machine. Make sure to save the settings. Next, configure the virtual machine options for proper graphics processing unit initialization. In the virtual machine settings, go to VM Options, then Advanced, and click on Edit Configuration. Look for the Configuration Key Hypervisor, CPUID, V0. If this key exists, set its value to false to ensure proper initialization of the graphics processing unit. There are additional considerations you should keep in mind. If your graphics processing unit requires large memory mappings, which is anything over 16 gigabytes, you may need to enable FI or Unified Extensible Firmware Interface boot mode and adjust memory mapped input-output settings. Remember, the graphics processing unit assigned to the virtual machine must be dedicated and cannot be shared with the host or other virtual machines simultaneously. Some graphics processing units may also requiring specific drivers inside the virtual machine for full functionality. Using GPU pass-through in a personal computer context can be very practical. It allows you to run virtualized professional workstation environments for tasks like three-dimensional rendering, video editing, computer-aided design, or machine learning workloads. Direct access to the graphics processing unit significantly boosts performance compared to sharing a virtualized graphics processing unit. By following these steps, you can successfully set up GPU pass-through in VMware ESXi. This will enable your virtual machine to utilize a physical graphics processing unit effectively transforming it into a powerful workstation with dedicated graphics hardware.